Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela Pink and on this channel we talk about relationships, we talk about dating, and we talk about men. We talk about the psychology of men, how they think, and how we can play the game like they play the game. So today we are going to talk about how to know if he's wasting your time. And I've kind of already done a video like this before, but I wanted to revisit it because I think that a lot of times ladies will overlook certain things, we will um, excuse certain behavior, and we don't necessarily take our own feelings and thoughts into account. So I wanted to talk about how to recognize a man who is going to waste your time. You know, will he be generous with you? Will he um, want the same sort of relationship that you want? Is he going to try to run a game on you? So that's going to be our focus for today. So sit back. I hope you got your tea and I hope you um, got your little snack. Stay tuned. Okay, so I know on this channel we focus a lot on wealthy men. We focus a lot on men who have money because they are the, you know, the pinnacle. They are the men that are sought after. Just like men seek the most beautiful women or the ladies who will make their friends jealous, women seek men who have money so that we don't have to... Um, necessarily go out and work. We can work if we choose to. And a lot of these tips are going to be about broke men, basically. Because if somebody is wealthy, if somebody is affluent, they don't have a problem being generous. They don't have a problem with spending money. And that's not something that's going to be a concern for you. So we're going to highlight these things. So the first one is going to be if he invites you to his home very soon. If this man invites you to his home immediately, then you can almost be guaranteed that he is not a man of affluence. His friends have likely been over there. They've likely um, seen him with other women. So he doesn't want to get all of that drama and stuff stirred up. So he is going to want to keep you as far away from his home base as possible. So since you're the new girl in town, you're not going to be able to get to his house real soon. And the B side of that is the reason why he would invite you back to his home. A man who does not have money is going to offer what? Can anybody guess? Anybody know? <laughs> He's going to offer you some pee, pee Why? Because that's all he has, which a lot of ladies have fallen victim to, you know. And like I've said before in other videos, you end up listening to all this game and hearing all of what he says and you don't pay attention to what he does so you don't even recognize that he's wasting your time and before you know it you got a wet butt and a dry pocket look and, and you don't want to go through all of that so save yourself the trouble and know that this is one of the very first signs that he's going to waste your time if he invites you to his home because he's trying to set you up to get some pee pee Got it? Good. Okay, number two is if he mentions any sort of bill payment to you, any sort of um, issues with bills or credit or things like that, he's probably going to be a waste of your time. Alpha men, high earners, do not mention money, especially to a woman. A woman in his life is an addition. It's something like a luxury, especially if you're a beautiful woman. That's extra to him. So why would I be talking about this part of my life with this other part of my life? It just doesn't make sense to do that. So know that if he's talking to you about any sort of bill, any sort of issues with credit, not being able to pay something, he's most likely going to waste your time. He, in this case, is most likely broke. 
And number three, if he mentions having to clock in for his job, if he mentions having to wear a badge or shift work or wearing a uniform, he's most likely going to be a waste of your time. Can you tell me why, ladies? Who wants to answer? <laughs> He's going to waste your time because he is likely broke. Most affluent people, I'm going to venture to say, 99% of wealthy, affluent, or even rich people do not go to a job where they have to clock in. A lot of times they make a salary. So a man who is going to waste your time is probably going to be clocking in somewhere wearing a uniform with his name on his badge that says Marcus. Probably has a name patch right here. The whole nine. It's going to waste your time. Trust me. Just trust me and leave him alone. Number four is if he always wears designer clothing um, and things like that, um, he's probably going to waste your time. Because if he's that into his own appearance, he likely won't be able to keep up with yours. So when it's time to get your hair done, when it's time to get your lashes and your nails and things like that, he's not going to have time because he's too busy going to Gucci, getting his own stuff. Number five is if he talks anything about clipping coupons or getting a discount or um, sharing food, sharing anything so that it's cheaper. If he ever uses the term, oh, it's cheaper if, you know he's going to waste your time. Leave people alone as soon as you find out that they are not what you want. As soon as you find out that these people, this person, this man is not what you want, then you need to leave him alone because here's a secret. Here's the secret sauce to all of this. No one can waste your time before you waste your own time. And I'll say that again. No one can waste your time unless you waste your own time. The longer you're in something that you don't want to be in, the more it's your fault. At first, before you knew he was, you know, wasting your time, okay, that's understandable. You didn't know, you get a pass, you know. But once you find out he's wasting your time and you still continue in the same relationship, at this point, it's your fault. And you have to take responsibility for that because it's not his fault, you know. So that's it ladies, that's the video. I've given you five tips to know when he is wasting your time. I hope these five things were helpful for you. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. What are some more things ladies that we can um, use as indicators of a man that is going to waste your time? Put the tips in the comments so that other ladies can come and read them. I know that many of you go through the comments and we talk back and forth and things like that. And I feel like this video could be very helpful to some of our younger ladies who are just dating and to some of our more seasoned ladies who may not have as much experience with men as some of the rest of us. So put your tips in the comments below so that we can help someone else. Also, don't forget that if you want to be a part of the Pink Print Academy, you can do so by logging on to www.pinkprintacademy.com. And that is where you will find information about me, where you will find information about the Pink Print Academy, where I am the founder and headmistress. Um, and you can watch me live there. We have pajama jams every Sunday evening after um, the YouTube video is uploaded and we talk about, you know, a variety of different topics. Also, by being a member of the Pink Print Academy, you have access to consultations with me. So if you have a situation that you want to discuss with me or you have a question that you'd like to, to ask me, 
Gaining access to the Pink Print Academy will allow you to have access to the consultations. So, and don't forget the big day. This Wednesday, July 31st, is the kickoff for our next class that the Pink Print Academy is offering. And this class is called Going from Miss Independent to Mrs. How to go from being a working woman to being a kept woman. And I know I have been answering a lot of questions about this lately. And the focus of this course is not to just say, throw caution to the wind, everybody quit your jobs, and let's go find us some men, girls. No, that is not the focus. The focus is to help you understand that a working woman is a much different woman than a woman who is a kept woman. How do you become this woman? What does she embody? I understand that a lot of ladies love their careers, and I'm all about that. As long as you are doing something you love, rah, rah to you. You know, hats off to you. I applaud you. I'm glad that you found um, your road to travel and happy trails to you. You know, I'm not saying that every woman needs to quit her job. I'm not saying that um, if you find a wealthy man, that's something that you would necessarily have to do. What I'm saying is you want to put yourself in a position where you can at least attract a man who is making more money than you, a man who is able to take care of you. If something happens to you and you can't go to your wonderful you know, place of employment, you want to be with a man who can say, don't worry about it. I've got us. I've got you and you don't have to worry. That's a good place to be in, ladies. That's all I'm saying. So it's not about just throwing caution to the wind and putting your full trust into a man. In this course, I'm going to give you tips on when you do get the money, what do you do? When you do get the man, how do you get the money from him? Once you get the money, how do you secure the money and make the money make money for you so that you're not just quitting your job and putting all of your eggs into one basket. You are utilizing the resources that you've been given to make sure that you are taken care of. And that's what this next course is about. So sorry for that long drawn out explanation, but I've had to answer several questions about that in recent days with ladies who were signing up. So hurry, hurry, do not wait to um, sign up. Like I said, the course is going to be held at um, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time on July 31st, 2019. And you will have forever access to that course once you pay for the course as well. So keep that in mind. Um, I thank you guys for watching. And like I always say, I'm Michaela Pink, and that's what I think. Bye.